Dear soldier, dear friend, dear husband, dear brother, dear uncle, dear grandpa, dear dad, dear shooter, dear John, dear lover, dear my old school teacher, dear James, dear Adam, dear accountant, dear postman, dear son, dear shopkeeper, dear scout leader, dear my hero, dear unknown. Dear soldier, do the bombs ever turn into falling stars? Do the bullets ever turn into summer rain? Does the loneliness ever turn into the greatest of parties? And does the war ever turn into memories of home? We may not know your name, number or rank, but your life is engraved on the trench's muddy bank. You couldn't have been more brave, nor any bolder. So rest in peace, the unknown soldier. Dear hero, you are brave, heroic and should be proud, and forgetting your sacrifice is not allowed. A hundred years have been and gone, yet the love for your country shall forever live on. Even though, dear soldier, they call you unknown, you remind us of sacrifice for a place you call home. I hope you come home soon. I wish that you had never even had to leave. Sometimes I can even imagine that you're standing here next to me, reading this over my shoulder as I write, laughing away at me as you always have chiding me in a special, playful way as you scoop me up into your arms and collapse to the floor, whereupon we play fight in ways that most big brothers and young sisters normally don't. March, April, June, December, when is your birthday? 17, 19, 20 plus. How old were you when you signed up? Do you still, in smothering dreams behind the wagon pace, watching the white eyes writhing in their face, at every jolt hearing the sickening red blood, Obscene as cancer, as bitter as the cud, slowly dripping from their lips. Drip, drip, drip. Thud. Another unlucky soldier added to the palm in front of you. Going carelessly into the wagon. Do you remember, soldier? Do you? Ralph is being told to join up now. Why? They all know as well as you and I do that he is under the required age. Two years under. Are things really that desperate that they call for children? Our children? Surely not, James. You have to return. Kitty is a nervous wreck, poor child. I don't know what I can do. She needs you, and Charles. One or the other is bad enough, but her father and her fiancé? It's too much. Dear brother, hello brother, how are you doing? I've missed you so much, it's unreal. You have always been my brave big brother, and I'm proud to call you family because you're my idol. I really want you home, Stephen, so we can do the things which we used to do, like go outside and play tag, or have races to the shop. Father says he hopes you are staying strong and he wants you home as soon as possible. What memories still remain in your fragile yet knowledgeable mind? I suppose recollections include the constantly squelching mud of which you ventured through, day after day, in the most dangerous places to be, the trenches. I wonder if the sound of fellow soldiers being shot down still rings in your mind, I wonder. Constantly I worry, what if it is you? What if it is today? What if today would be the day when the yellow card arrives, a telegram? What will I do? What about Josie, our dear little girl? How would I tell her? I cannot do this any more. She is too young to understand the horrors of war, such conflict she should not know. She should only understand concepts of fairies and princesses, not blood and battle. Who were you? Who are you now? Were you the one that was strong and brave? Maybe even the one that was called a coward? The one that no one believed? But that has changed, hasn't it? But none of that matters now. You are a hero. Even a hundred years along, you are remembered. Can you hear the peaceful nights we once had? Or are they pierced with bullets and bombs? The once starry nights you would sit under his kids, now blackened with smoke. The sound of morning birds now replaced with the screams of men, both young and old. Is your pristine uniform now caked in mud? But not to worry, your medals stand bold upon your chest. Dear unknown soldier, are you truly unknown? To those who stood beside in battle, you were a hero. To your wife, her true love, to your children, you were everything. A soldier you were, but had known you were not. A father, a brother, a comrade, or a lover. Your family will listen to the radio for you. Treasure every letter home. Dreading the day, news will come through of an injury or death. They will be miles away, and yet celebrate every victory and mourn every death, as if they too stood upon that soil. You took a part of them all with you, and perhaps that is the only thing that forces your blistered feet on. The only thing that is made, risking your life day after day, night after night, possible. And perhaps receiving letters signed with scribbled names and X's mean more to you than you thought they ever could. You are not unknown. Goodbye, soldier.